Hi everyone! Welcome to another Woolen Yarn Box unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing our January box called Frost and Flannel. Uh, so if you have not heard of a Woolen Yarn Box yet, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Um, it is a yarny experience every month straight to your door. Uh, the experience is all about visiting places you knit and crochet and make all day. So every month we pick um, a place, a place that you would knit and crochet and make all day. Um, and sometimes they're outlandish places, sometimes they're very realistic, somewhere you might relate to, uh, but either way, they're so much fun and they're straight to your door every month. You get unique and one-of-a-kind yarn uh, colorways, you get unique one-of-a-kind uh, project bags, and unique one-of-a-kind uh, charm sets. So all the goodies that you're going to see in here will not be released anywhere else. Again, they are only able to be found in a woolen yarn box. Um, so it makes them super special. So they're only available for the one month they're on pre-order. So we, we got the idea for the theme through the Connecticut town where the Gilmore Girls were filmed. So the town is really snowy and gorgeous during the winter months. And we just loved those scenes and we thought, what better for January when it's snowy weather, cold weather, we're looking forward to the spring at that point. Um, what better than that beautiful town? So um, for us, and we love the Gilmore Girls, we wanted to do that inspired town. Uh, the flannel and the frost come from, like Luke always wore that flannel, um, frost for that snowy town. And so we kind of meshed the two and called it flannel and frost, but it is inspired by that beautiful town. We're going to think like stormy, gray, bluish skies with those gorgeous balsam and pine trees uh, with some snow covered on top. So that's what this is all inspired and all about. So if you're a current subscriber or if you're a new subscriber and this is going to be your first box, make sure to use the hashtag woolen yarn box for your unboxings, all your making, any kind of whips that you're making. I'm going to show you what I'm making with this box, but use the hashtag. We would love to see how everything turns out for your box. So I have the box here. We're going to open it up. So right off the bat, when you open your box, you get a beautiful wax seal. Sammy has snowflakes available and um, official North Pole seals. She's got some really cute ones for winter. It'll probably be a snowflake for this one by January, but the wax seals are absolutely gorgeous. There is a 10% off coupon in here, good for woolenwomenfiber.com and Sam's Tiny Trinkets Etsy shop. So this is an extra coupon. Right off the bat, you're getting savings and extra goodies. Let me open it up. It is an absolutely gorgeous snow and pine set and I think that flannel is peeking out from down there so let's dive in so uh we'll start with the colorway the colorway is exactly as I'd hoped it would be so it did take me I took about I don't know two drafts of what I thought a stormy um snowy sky looked like and I wanted to go with that more a uh, bluish gray tone the sky takes on when it gets that haze of snow when snow is falling or if snow's just about to fall. So I did an underlay of that and then I topped it with these pine speckles that are going to be like those gorgeous balsam or pine trees that are peeking through the snow. Like if you look out on a snowy horizon, if you're in that small town, this is snow in a small town. So that's what we named it. And so this is the frost aspect of the box. The beautiful pine color carries over here with this like forest green for your mini. And yeah, I'm just really happy with it. It does differ from our other colorways a bit in style. Um, as I've kind of played down the speckles a little, I've made it like a tonal. So the speckle is subtle. You can use this for a lot of different, um, lace patterns for your socks if you're doing socks or maybe a shawl if you're using this for a shawl, but the possibilities are endless. It is a subtle speckle and will go great with cables, lace, or just vanilla knit, something simple. 
it will work with everything. So this is shown on our 8020 Superwash Merino Nylon Base. And our box defaults to this. This is what you'll get if you don't let us know otherwise. So um, if you would like something different, just message us and let us know what base you had in mind, what you would like to change it to, and we will change it out. So right now we have subscribers that are doing everything from non-superwash worsted to DK to um, 75, 25. So there are different options. If you're a crocheter, you want something thicker. There's nothing wrong with that. Just message us and let us know and we will swap it out. You just have to let us know there's a two week cutoff. So around the 20th of every month, we cut off pre-orders for the first box and a new box opens up. You have to let us know before the 20th of that month if you want to make changes to your base. So yeah, that is the beautiful yarn. <clears throat> Sammy went ahead and played along with the frost theme and she made her charms to match the yarn. And this is inspired by the girls. Isn't that cute? So Gilmore Girl inspired. The hat is knitted. She's got a little mitten there. Her little blue eyes. I love her little puffy coat she's got going on. Sammy even does three, like 360 views on her charm. So the back even has beautiful head of hair. So no matter which way your charm is dangling on your knitting, it will be a beautiful piece. And there's that little mitten. And this match is so perfect with the yarn. I can't wait to show you my sock I'm making. It has these beautiful charms on there. Yeah, how gorgeous is that? So this is frost. I can't wait to show you flannel. Mom outdid herself on this flannel. So Mommy made a flannel drawstring bag for this month. How gorgeous is that? I mean, you could use this all winter season, like even into February, you're going to be able to get like a month or two out of this bag. It's flannel, it's beautiful, and it's everything that you would think winter should be. So it is box bottomed. It's super roomy in there. There's a neutral down in there and then a really nice drawstring. There's your bag. So this is flannel and frost. I mean, I just think it's amazing. I think it's the perfect winter set and extra goodies are in there too. So let's get to them, but this is absolutely gorgeous. What's special about the fabric for this bag is it's hand spun fabric. So it's really hard to find, hard to come by. Mom ordered it extra special for our subscription box and she made this absolutely beautiful bag for flannel and frost. Let's dive into the extras. So for your extras for this box, you are going to get a lotion bar and a candle. And so each month for a woolen yarn box uh, alternates. We do sometimes give a uh, lanolin wool wash. In this box, you're going to get lanolin lotion bar handmade by us as well. Um, and so it alternates between months. So one month you'll get a lotion bar, one month you'll get a soap. And then you'll always get an eight ounce candle by us. And so what's special about the scents for this, and this is where this whole like bringing in the theme comes along for the woolen yarn box, um, is that it's going to smell like the place you're visiting. So for this one, it's flannel and frost. Think warm, cozy smells, uh, think pine spruce balsam you're going to get those notes in these candles and the lotion bar for this month so your box will be perfect to sit cozy if you're in cold weather like i will be uh, by the fire if you have one or cozy on your favorite crafting room or your chair and then you light your candle and you take in the beautiful smells of snow in a small town and then you get to use your lotion bar. So I recommend a few swipes on your hand, rub it all in, and then work with your yarn. It's going to condition your yarn as you work with it because it's a lanolin lotion bar. It's got butters in there. We'll have a, a card for you to tell you all the ingredients. 
Um, and it's gonna it's gonna condition that yarn as you work with it. And then the best part about the whole thing is, is after you're done working with your project and you put it back in your beautiful project bag, it's gonna smell so good when you open it back up. It's amazing. So I am loving our lotion bars <clears throat> and I'm loving our candles. Um, and I hope you will too, or that you are too, if you're a current subscriber. Uh, we do give extra goodies with each box. There's a minimum of like one extra mystery goodie at least with every box, but this one comes with two. So uh, we have, as you know, if it's Gilmore inspired, it has to have coffee in some manner. So we have coffee candies that are going in the box. You'll get a couple of these. And then we have water bottle stickers. Let me show you those. Let me pick a cute one here. So these are also Gilmore inspired and you're going to get stickers. There's all kinds of stickers in here. How beautiful are they? The beautiful house they have. Um, I drink coffee like a Gilmore. So lots of fun stickers and your um, coffee candies. So you get a few of those in there. So the box is absolutely beautiful. You're going to get your bag. We'll box this all up so you can see what it looks like one more time. excited about this box and I've been trying to knit up something at least one sock if I can manage it per month because I'm absolutely loving these colors and I went with a Gilmore inspired pattern for socks called I Smell Snow by Matt Ackers and we have suggestions for your boxes for patterns and such on Fiber Favorites Fridays. So we go live on Instagram at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Friday. And so this was one of the pattern suggestions for this box. So here is my sock. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I gotta put my charms back on there so you can see those. Okay, now it's complete. How gorgeous is that? I'm just really loving these for winter but I'm definitely going to wear them quite long after January. They will not just be my snowy socks because they're just gorgeous. And I'm loving the cabled pattern that I'm getting. There are bobbles in between the cables. And what I really love about the charms is they don't weigh anything down. Like even though she's like looking like a pretty large charm on that stitch, she doesn't weigh down the stitch at all. If you look, it's it's perfectly fine. And she's hanging there just smiling, talking way too fast as Gilmore girls do. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this. I have just started this sock. Um, again, it's I Smell Snow by Matt Hackers. So if you get this box and you wanna knit along with me, um, I'd love to see your I Smell Snow socks. Patterns are not included in the boxes. We are always trying to improve the boxes. So maybe in the future when, um, when we really get out there with these, they're only just about six months old or so, maybe a little over, um, we will start to try to include patterns. But for now, patterns are not included, just suggested. So I Smell Snow by Matt Ackers is, is an excellent pattern, especially for this yarn. It has a light speckle. So that speckle is not going to take over and sort of muddle that cable pattern. It's gonna look, it looks fantastic because it's not too busy of a colorway for a cabled pattern or a lace pattern, like I said. So we will put all our project stuff in there and then I'm gonna light my candle and I'm gonna get in a really good amount of time knitting with this candle. 
it's eight ounces so you're gonna get quite some time knitting with it and enjoying that fresh pine and fresh fallen snow smell for snow in a small town the flannel and frost so check this out on woolenwomenfiber.com it is a woolen yarn box subscription um, if you subscribe we have basic boxes if you're not into all the scented products so if you're somebody that doesn't really like the uh, strong scent of candles or um, lotion bar that's scented you're going to want to do the basic box and that comes with just the basics so you're going to get your yarn your charm and the two extra little goodies that were in this box i cannot believe it's the holidays already i'm so excited and i'm very excited for fireside knitting with the flannel and frost set i hope you are too Bye.